Action! What's up, Mass Appeal? Welcome to the goddamn Space Mountain. This is Blanco. Come on in. Come on, Blanco! This is my office. Come on in here, see all the nostalgic Atlanta shit. I think this is number two right here. There's number three right there. I gotta dig, but I got all this shit. Yeah, this issue was fire right here. I think this is one of the first issues that really caught my interest after it, didn't, it wasn't just a straight graffiti magazine. This was a graffiti ass one that also I think fit the format of a new magazine, you know? I see they got Ricky Paul in there. That's the dude. This issue's number 13. Crazy. Issue number three, which I think this was still pretty much just a graffiti magazine then. And then here's the Holy Grail, issue number one. Oh, shit. I used to hang out with Adrian and Sire back down in DC and uh, McLean, Virginia. We used to do a lot of graffiti down there, probably starting like beginning in 94. It's probably the first time I hooked up with them. We used to do a lot of freight trains with uh, Cha and Ecto, their whole little crew. They used to have a crew called the Ghost Yard Boys. It was a ghost yard crew, I think. Something like that. And um, anyway, he used to take me on psychotic missions to uh, Philly and throughout DC, New York City. And uh, she was just around for the, the makings of their first magazine. I don't, I don't even think they uh, started it to be anything that serious. It's just uh, around that time, there wasn't a lot of uh, graffiti material. And I there wasn't really a place for graffiti magazines, especially back then. There was like can control and shit. And Tower Records was like the only place that would carry this shit. I think Tower Records ended up carrying this one, but uh, you know, I think they realized that they weren't going to be able to keep doing it with just a graffiti format. They had to change it to something else. And um, somewhere down the line, I guess, Sasha Jenkins got involved. And uh, this shit took off, you know. I was shocked because they were some pretty wild dudes. I didn't think they would be organized enough to pull off a real deal magazine that would keep going. You know, there was like a lot of pen palling going on back then. You know, pre-internet and stuff like that. It's how I knew those guys. We would trade pictures. We didn't even know each other face to face. We all traded pictures between every state and every, pretty much every country in the world. And we would just trade packs of stickers. So if you put like five walls and five freights, you know, that's what you were expected back from people. So there was like even trades for flicks. And uh, I don't know, these guys started compiling a lot of shit. And they just, even the first magazine now that I haven't actually looked at it in a long time, but it's so thorough and it's such a good one. It's crazy. It kind of makes me sad. There goes Sire, that was a dude who, um, you know, passed away. His name was Pat. He was just a fearless dude, and he also he was like a highly, highly motivated writer. He, you know, like a lot, a lot, a lot of people painted graffiti throughout time, but these guys were always, you know, they'd paint in the morning, paint at night. You know, if it wasn't a painting, they were stealing paint or getting paint, compiling shit. You know, and also being someone who documents shit, it was hard to uh, keep up with paint, cameras, painting, and documenting all your own stuff and everything you saw along the way. So, you know, that was kind of like something I think like, it was like a new generation of writers from coast to coast that were trying to link up and we all had the same uh, mission, you know, to like hit other cities, which a lot of writers had only stayed in their neighbors and cities till the 90s. So we tried to be some of the first people to, you know, really travel around and network everywhere. And also, you know, be into the archival part of it too. Not just taking pictures of our own shit, you know, just really taking pictures of everything everywhere and really finding out who's who and what's what and where it's all from and where it was going. Bring to my 